Also, Open Source Classic, unsere traditionelle äh, Prämierung. Open Source sieht hier super glamourös aus, <lacht> aber oftmals ist das jahrelanges Programmieren und das Projekt, das wir hier präsentieren, ist wirklich ein sehr altes Projekt. Es hat komplett anders gestartet, als es heute ist. Es ist so etwas geworden, das jetzt von großen Playern unterstützt wird. Und der Winner ist Chitzi. <lacht> schon verraten. Yeah. Sorry. <lacht> Aber Chitzi, you know. <lacht> Den habe ich nicht kapiert. Chitzi, wie? So, I will quickly switch to English, I guess, right? Uh, yeah. be um, do we have a microphone? For oh, yes, we do, actually. Yes, of course. So, yeah, I knew I didn't want to switch to English because it was a bit too obvious who will win afterwards. <laughs> um, interesting for me, and maybe you can say a word about that. Uh, when we had a look at the history of Chitsi with the jury, we figured out that it was totally not video conferencing. You started way earlier with this thing. Maybe you can say a few words about the project? Yeah. Um, so the story is that in the beginning it was actually called SIP Communicator. It was a desktop client uh, for SIP. Then multiple uh, protocols were added, so it became Moly Protocol. Then you gotta change the name, right? Uh, we chose Jitsi, which means uh, cables in Bulgarian, because the main team um, is Bulgarian. And um, then we started doing video stuff, um, but it was on the client. So, well, one single laptop is not going to cut it for multi-party conferencing, so we push that to the server. And roughly at the same time, or a little bit later, WebRTC came up, so it could leverage the work on the server to do it in the browser, and now on mobile and the like. Um, and I'm really happy that you <laughs> could showcase us. Um, it's open source, as you mentioned, Apache 2 licensed, uh, and everybody can use it. And we know that some interesting people are using it. Um, The Freedom of the Press Foundation has a repo with an Ansible script, so you can deploy it to your private server or whatnot. And we provide Debian packages if you also choose to trust us. <laughs> It's really, really easy to run that in your company. You can have video conferencing with no client, no subscription, no users, nothing. nothing. It's really straightforward. It's encrypted uh, as far as I know. Yes, it is encrypted hop by hop, because that's what the WebRTC standards allow us to do today. Uh, but one of the things we're currently busy with, uh, also at the standardization levels at ITF, is full end-to-end -end encryption for group, uh, for group video calling, which is currently not technically possible, because browsers don't really give you that capability, and this is the environment that we have to play sure. in. When did it start, the first code? When was that? Uh, I think 2007. That was the start of, of the desktop client. But since parts of it were moved on to the server and then the client was written for the desktop brand new, which is, uh, well, right now it's based on JavaScript using React. And our mobile clients, which are also open source, are also uh, written with React Native. Uh, so for those of you who might want to integrate this kind of capability on any application, we designed it so that um, you can embed it and add this functionality to other things without really needing to understand how things work. So again, a classical open source project for the jury, um, something which really starts to get used a lot. We actually switched in a European Union project to it because Adobe meeting <laughs> sucks. <laughs> so I'd like to hear about that. <laughs> Have a look at it, try it, you can run it directly on the Jitsi homepage. There is a live instance which you can use for production as well. And again, the project started more than 10 years ago. You did pivoting several times actually, you adjusted to the reality. And now you have quite a potent sponsor in it as well. I think Atlassian is... Yeah, so uh, over two years ago, Atlassian acquired Blue Gym, the company behind Jitsi. Uh, I joined a bit later. Um, so now the entire Jitsi team uh, is at Atlassian, but we still develop it as a community. So for example, every for those who might want to know or ask us something about the project, every two weeks we host a community call where we tell our users what are we busy with, what are we going to do next, um, and the like. We even, um, with the switch to a license, we switch to a better license. <laughs> so right now it's Apache 2 licensed. Uh, so that's pretty much gives you all the rights to do anything. Great. So again, applause for Chitsi. Congratulations. Thank you.